And is there any sort of correlation to um, once you've done a file and you've or you've completed a mediation and you're working with people and that you see those people again come back to you? Is there any sort of correlation to that or them referring other people to you as a mediator through the work that they've someone else has sort of previously done with you? Uh, well, I think absolutely. Like if you, anytime that you, you know, you're out there performing as a mediator, um, you you know you do a good job, and you know the other the council at the table and stuff like that. The see that will think, okay, well, you know, Preston did a great job of that mediation, so that so maybe I'll think of him for another file. And, you know, if they don't think you're performing very well, they're probably not going to recommend you to other people in their firm or, or whatever to use. So you know, putting your best foot forward and getting the job done is you know going to garner you respect among among counsel and clients and stuff like that, and then that becomes its own word of mouth to build, I think. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, word of mouth is a really good way to describe how most of our mediations come in, but I mean, we've kind of talked more about passive marketing, but I mean, you can also actively market yourself and connect with, you know, specific insurance companies that may have a large, you know, large-scale file load where they're consistently needing mediators at a competitive rate to work on smaller files, like for instance, you know, Travelers at Viva, sometimes there's a need with those sorts of things. Um, there's a growing need as well within um, not just large insurance companies, but just large employers generally with, um, you know, the, the, a lot of employers now have obligations to deal with work safe, you know, bullying and harassment yeah. investigations and things and stuff like that, so there's more and more workplace conflict resolution stuff that's being required and things so marketing yourself to a large employer that you know that's saying well you've, you're a national employer you must have tons of these issues and stuff that I'm willing to you know get in there and come up with a big deal to help you work on all these could be you know a great idea as yeah. well. And staying tuned to current events like the Ashley Madison data dump which is probably going to create a ton of family work in the next little while. You know so. it's, it's, it's neat because Media BC every year does a, a survey of its mediators. Mm -hmm to find out sort of um, what's happening in the sector. But one of them this year, one of the questions that was added was what do you think the growth areas of mediation are going to be mm -hmm. for the next year? And the number one one was family mediation, which is kind of amazing that the Sashley Madison thing happened afterwards. So, um, but sure. And then the next one was wills and estates, which we haven't really right. talked about here at all. And then the other one that you brought up, Preston, was of course workplace mediation and the changes in regulations around work safe here and bullying and harassment and certainly so it's neat to hear that that is kind of like where your minds are turning as well as to what like our established mediators have all told us are the growth, growth areas as well. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I mean, Wills and Estates, they just did a huge revamp with the legislation, same in family law um, and with much more of a focus on alternative dispute resolution in both of those pieces of legislation. So that's not surprising to me. That's great, yeah. All right, well, I would like to thank both of you, Preston and Jamie, for taking the time out of your afternoon to, to talk with Media BC and certainly all of the mediators, or the soon-to-be mediators, about the kind of challenges and how you're approaching these challenges to, so that they're hopefully not actual barriers to your, to your practice. But thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely.